So our preschool is very much a learning through play preschool program. So we believe that children learn best by experiencing and playing rather than being directly taught at circle time, having them be able to be engaged uh, in centers with staff and with their peers is uh, the most powerful way for young children to learn. We really try to work on uh, social skill development with our children, uh, problem solving with peers, being able to navigate through play situations with the support of staff in the classroom, um, which are all important skills for children to have for when they do go to kindergarten, when it's a bigger class um, and there's more of an academic focus in, in kindergarten. So we try to teach some of those foundation skills for our kiddos. So each classroom, uh, we strive to have kind of a routine of the day to give our kiddos some predictability in what's happening. Uh, so we have circle time where it's that whole group instruction with the teacher. We try to have a good chunk of time that is just center time. So just an opportunity for children to explore the room, uh, interact with peers, have staff be in there helping to support and model different play skills with children. Um, we do have... Uh, here at uh, Leo Nickerson, we have the gross motor room. In our other locations, they have access to the gym. So being able to have the children have an opportunity to go and just burn off some energy and develop some of those big muscle skills. Um, and then we have a snack where uh, staff are sitting down with the children, really modeling some of those conversation skills, some healthy food choices, um, that kind of thing, and trying to build some of those positive interactions with children. In most locations, we have a morning uh, option and an afternoon option that parents um, can put if they have a preference for in terms of what would work better for them. We can't guarantee that what parents are requesting in terms of location or time of the day is where we would be able to place a child in our program. But we do try to have you know, the two different options to make it a little bit easier for parents in terms of getting their children to and from preschool. Typically our classrooms have uh, 14 children in them. So um, we have 10 children that are receiving puff support. So they're children that have a severe delay. Often it's speech and language related, um, but we do have kind of a wide range of needs uh, within that, that puff spectrum of kiddos and then we have four children who we call them our community kiddos so our they're children who are coming in with more age appropriate or typically developing skills so we try to keep our classes at around 14 just so we're able to offer more one-on-one -on -one supports for each of the children that are in our program because we have so many children that are here for PEF supports, we do have access to a speech pathology team, so a speech pathologist and a speech pathology assistant. We also have access to an occupational therapist and an occupational therapy assistant. And for some of our children, uh, we do have uh, a physical therapist that is able to come in for children who have more mobility challenges. She's able to come in and offer some strategies to help support uh, children who might need more more help with things like climbing stairs or um, some mobility things like jumping and even just walking and that kind of stuff. Children have to be two years, eight months as of September 1st to be able to come to our program. There's no special skills that are needed. We take children where they're at. A number of different preschool programs uh, expect that children are potty trained when they start. We do not because we take children at two years, eight months, and often children with developmental delays that are just not ready for potty training quite yet. So we don't expect that children are uh, potty trained before they, they join our program. We do not offer transportation for our, uh, our families. We do have a transportation grant. So for our children that are accessing PUF supports, uh, they can access a transportation grant, which helps to offset the cost for parents driving their child to and from our preschool program. St. Ambert Public Preschool is a program that we're very proud of both in our preschool program and our school division. Um, and we welcome the opportunity to chat with families that are interested more and answer the questions.